So very briefly, I just wanna go over how to graph a line. So we have a line or equation of a line that's written in y equals mx plus b form. So y is equal to mx plus b. It's called slope-intercept form, okay? The m represents the slope, and the b value represents the y-intercept, okay? So in this case, y equals 2x plus 4. 2 would be the m, or the slope, and 4 would be the y-intercept. Okay, let's break that down even further. So let's first look at slope. Slope is just telling you if you're gonna draw a line, let me just draw a for instance. If you're gonna draw a line, slope is telling you between each point, how much are you going up and how much are you going over? So when you have a slope of two, I like to write it as a fraction. So you can write two as a fraction by having 2 over 1. So 2 means you're going to go up 2, and then 1 is going to be over 1. So from each point, I'm going to go up 2 over 1, and I'm going to make a point. Up 2 over 1. That's what the slope of 2 means. 2 over 1. Okay, what about the y-intercept of 4? What does that mean? Well, the y axis is the line that goes up and down with the arrows. This is the y-axis. This is the x-axis. The y-axis is where wherever the line crosses over the y-axis is called the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is just a point. It starts with zero and whatever number the y-intercept is. So in this case, it would be zero comma four. So for this line, that we're going to graph in a moment, the line is going to go over the y axis at the fourth point. So now that we have a little bit of details, we can go ahead and see what happens when we graph this line. So I'm gonna erase some of this just so that we can start from scratch. And we're gonna do y is equal to two x plus four. The slope is going to be two over one. And then the y-intercept is going to be 0, 4. And because this is a positive line or a positive slope, I know that my line is going to be going in the upwards direction. If that was a negative 2, it would be going in the downwards direction. So let's go ahead and graph this line. I'm going to go ahead and make my axes. Perfect. Axis. Okay, this is the y, this is the x-axis. So how do I start? I start by graphing the y-intercept. The y-intercept is zero comma four. So I'm gonna go up four, one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna plug in my point. Then I'm going to follow the slope. The slope means my next point, to get to it, I have to go up two, because it's positive two, and over one. So let's do that, up two, one, two, and over one, that's my next point. Up two, one, two, over one, that's gonna be my max point. Well, I can keep going to the right forever and ever and ever, but I also wanna go a little bit to the left. So how do I go to the left? Well, I just do the opposite. Instead of going up two over one, I go down two, one, two, to the left one. Down two, to the left one and those are going to be my points. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight them in black so that we can see them clearly. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw my line. So y is equal to two x plus four would look like this. So let's go ahead and try another example. What about y is equal to one half x plus three? One half is my slope. That means I'm going to go up one over two and three is my y-intercept. That means it crosses the line at y-axis at zero comma three. So let's go ahead and graph this. <clears throat> we start with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is zero comma three. 
So start at zero and go up three, one, two, three. So this is our first point. And then we use the slope, one over two. So we go up one over two, up one over two, up one over two, up, up one over two. Now, if I wanna to go to the left a little bit, I go down one over two, down one over two, and then now I have my line, and I'm gonna go ahead and connect my dots the best that I can and draw my line. And the line would be y is equal to one half x plus three. Let's go ahead and practice a negative slope. So if I have y is equal to negative three x plus two, the slope is negative three, so that means negative three over one. So instead of going up three, I'm gonna be going down three over one. And my y-intercept is two, so it's gonna be zero comma two. So let's go ahead and let's try to graph this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my x and y axis. I'm gonna start by graphing my y-intercept, zero, two, one, two, put my point here. And now I'm gonna go down three, one, two, three, over one, down three, one, two, three, over one. And then I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna go up three, over one, up three, over one. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect my line. So it was a negative slope. So my line should be going down and my line is going down. So I graph this properly. Okay. So if you get these types of problems on your test, if you get these type of problems when you're in your algebra class or when you're in your regular mathematics class, just remember, as long as it's in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, try your best to identify the slope, put it in a fraction form that makes it easiest, identify what the y-intercept is. First, you plot the y-intercept, then you follow the slope in order to find the next points to the right, and the next points to the left, and then you can go ahead and connect those dots and you can make your line. I hope this video has helped you guys. Please leave your comments below and I'll try to get, the, get to them as soon as possible.